Welcome to Texas Prairie Pottery. We specialize in high-fired stoneware that we hope will grace your home for generations. You may not know that the ceramic craft is probably the second oldest industry in history. Archaeologists study the pottery from ancient cultures to learn about their use of technology. Pottery was the first tin can, in fact. So the ware you see before you is part of a craft that extends over the centuries. The potter is able to work with the most simple elements of earth, water and fire, and combine the application of these to form and finish durable and beautiful work. Clay begins in the heart of the earth. Volcanic materials are made up of silica, aluminum, calcium, and the like. Over time, this magma is worn away and deposited in low spots on the crust of the earth. The potter is able to recreate that magma forming process in the heat of the kiln, and the tiny particles of clay are refuses to form a solid material. On a minimal scale, a universal drama of the Earth's formation is reenacted with every kiln firing. Actually, the temperature that these pottery pieces reached in the final phases of their coming to be approximates the temperature of lava as it reaches the surface. The process of forming a pot takes many steps, from wet clay to finished piece. In America, the natives never developed the rotating wheel concept that is used today that comes to us from our European ancestors. Some craftsmen still use kick wheels to form their work, but electricity seems to have made that job easier. Once the clay is formed in the wheel, some finishing steps are usually required, such as trimming away excess and unnecessary clay, and adding decorative elements to the design. These parts of the process are usually done after some drying out of the clay. The clay at this state is referred to as being leather hard. After the work is completed on the still damp clay, it is set aside to dry thoroughly, and it reaches what is known as the bone dry stage. That drying out stage may take as long as a week to be completed. Bone dry materials are carefully stacked in our bisque kiln for their first firing. The ware is slowly heated through the course of a firing. And the temperature will rise from room temperature to about 1800 degrees. It can take as long as 10 hours for the first firing to be completed. This first firing is hard on the ware and it is not unusual for there to be some breakage at this point. After this first firing, the ware is then able to be handled more easily. Glaze is mixed from glass forming elements and is applied to the pots through dipping, pouring, brushing, or perhaps even spraying. Texas Prairie Pottery prepares and mixes all of their own glazes. Sometimes the making of a glaze can take many months to develop. A base recipe can be altered to get a specific look and texture. But this altering process takes time and is done in very small steps. We fire our work to the final temperatures in a propane kiln capable of reaching 2500 degrees and generally we take our ware to just under that temperature. The beautiful textures and colors you see here are the result of reducing the amount of oxygen available to the flame during the final hours of the firing cycle. This look is not something one will see in pottery fired in an electric kiln. 
We do not use heavy metal oxides in the preparation of our glazes, and so they are all safe to use daily. They are fine to use in the oven and in the dishwasher as well. We recommend treating our ware as you would a piece of Pyrex. Please don't take it from the refrigerator and place it in a hot oven. That sort of thermal shock is generally not good for the pots. If you're looking for something special for yourself or someone else, you'll find it at Texas Prairie Pottery. Thank you.